Okay, friends of you who voted on the closet to be either gone or not gone. And the vote was to have it gone and create an open space, which is what we uh, decided to go with since the votes were so good. And there was a wall right here, as you can probably see in some of my other pictures. And uh, then there, the door, the front door actually used to be right here where that header beam is. And I moved that out and uh, I've shown previous videos of that progress. So now, whenever you walk in, there's no, no wall to the left, so it's almost instant open space. You got the window there to the left, well, window frame for now, but that wall that was going all the way up to the ceiling, you can see, you know, where the line was, where it was touching the ceiling there. And then it came all the way down to the edge of that carpet right there. So it really blocked all that off. That's just sheetrock leaning up right there uh oh yeah merry christmas you can see our christmas tree and christmas decorations that amy put up she's awesome so anyway when you uh when you walk in you know you saw that closet first thing other than the wall that used to be there and so now this closet is going to be gone ixnade vamoosed but i just keep <laughs> laughing about the construction of this house because look at there that that's uh that's actually bat insulation well not the lower stuff but the upper stuff with the paper on it up there that's bat insulation and right on the other side of that is the attic so there's like not much insulation or protection from the attic going on right there and another thing I noticed is you'll see this beam that goes the whole span across the living room there to the other side, excuse me. I'm in a mask, so if I sound funny, that's why. I'm trying to keep this dust out of my nostrils. But they just notched out a board here. That's a 2 by 12 I'm sure. And you can see the concrete on it, so that's another one of the boards they used to pour the foundation with with this house and then they took them off and used them in the framing so uh uh yeah <laughs> but anyway you can see the notch just the one just on uh it's got wood going all the way up to one side and on the other side there's nothing and then but the thing that concerns me is you can see a dip right here uh in the framing and of course this would be a weight bearing wall since since this is pushing down on it okay right and where they joined the walls uh, there should be at least a minimum of a 36 inch overlap if not more and they've got less than an inch there and the weight of the house pushing down on that right there and causing this to to bow has actually caused this wall on the left to separate from the one on the right and it's got like three quarters of an inch left before it falls off. So I'm going to have to go in here and uh, jack this wall up with wall jacks. And then I'm going to probably put a, a thin steel beam across the top just so that I can raise the height of this. Just, you know, make it look a little, a little bit more modern, a little bit, a little bit uh, more open instead of doing a, you know, two by eight or two by 12 up there or whatever. Uh, I don't know, I haven't decided that yet. But, so I'm gonna have to jack this wall up on both sides, this side and this side over here. I'm gonna tear all that wall out, or that drywall out over there too to get to it. And uh, then we're gonna tear this out. Of course, we're gonna have to fix the ceiling and everything. And this whole ceiling is gonna get uh, at least six inch wide tongue and groove pine ceiling so uh, that's going to make it real real nice and sharp inside of here especially since kind of the theme of my house is like a log cabin style and we're going to remove all this 
and uh, obviously I'm gonna have to redo all the flooring because you know we had some kind of ugly tile out here to begin with and then it transitions into this tile which is just kind of your standard tile that you see in like a lot of rental properties and whatnot which I say is ugly too and then you got this ugly carpet here which is who knows how old and of course we're gonna have all these gaps in here to fill and these there's gonna be gaps here whenever we pull the studs out and then we're gonna remove, remove this center wall and uh, then, then we're gonna extend this wall out and the same with that wall over there, going to bring it out this way. And so the door will now be in the middle. So basically, we're going to be trading places from the exact opposite of what it is right now. You can see the door there, the closet in the middle, the door there. So it's just going to uh, turn it into an exact opposite of what that is now. So anyway, that's today's update. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great day and having a lot of fun. And... If there's any of you out there that love to dust, I've got plenty of dust for you. <laughs> this place is going to need a massive cleaning whenever I get done with all this construction with all this dust I create all the time. So anyway, uh, you guys take care, like my video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below. All right? Let me know uh, what your thoughts and opinions are, and I do take them into consideration. So uh, we'll talk to you later. All right. Peace out.